In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install a water ice line for your refrigerator, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So you woke up today and you've been looking at that fridge for a while. You know you have the fridge, but no water or ice is coming from it. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we're gonna show you how to do that. Always remember to contact a pro for installation. In this connection, we're gonna connect it to the water line under the kitchen faucet. But where you decide to connect it is up to you. You are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. If your refrigerator did not come with an installation kit, you can buy one at your hardware store or online. We're gonna leave a link for this particular one on the description of the video. The first thing that we get on the kit is a 25 foot tubing line. The second thing that we get on the kit is a shutoff valve and this is good because it means you can have the water running to your kitchen faucet but you can stop it from going to your refrigerator. Then we have a universal adapter that can fit half an inch line or a 3 eighths line depending on how you flip it. Then we have a T connection where we connect to our faucet line out to the faucet again and to our shutoff valve for the refrigerator. And lastly, we have a one fourth connection from the refrigerator to the tubing. Inside the package, there's also this thing called barbecue paper, I mean owner's manual, installation guide. Now that we took a look at the kit, now these are the things that we're gonna need. Plumber's tape, pliers, or a wrench set, but most importantly, the way that your body is gonna stretch to positions like a pretzel, under that sink, oiling your joints or stretching beforehand can come in handy. Now that we have the tools in the bag, we're ready to put our body to the test. The first thing that you want is a refrigerator. The second thing that you want is a refrigerator that filters water and makes ice or, or maybe just one of them. Now that we have all the important things down, we can go ahead and locate the connection in the back of our refrigerator. And this usually is at the bottom. You will see the tubing coming out usually with thread. In this case, with a removable plastic cover. We can go now to under the cabinet, under the kitchen faucet, do a yoga position that we never done before and shut off the cold water to the kitchen faucet. And always remember to guide yourself by the ancient rule of lefty loosey righty tighty. We can always verify that the water is shut off by opening the faucet. Now that we verify that the water is off, we can go ahead and remove the holes for the water line. In this case, we're using some pliers. You can use a wrench. A pro tip, always having a bucket and rag close by will avoid future wars with spouses, family, and friends that live in the kingdom. Always remember the greatest rule of all time, lefty loosey, righty tidy. We make sure that we get that water in the bucket and if we didn't, we act like we did, but at all costs, we avoid eye contact with Watson. Now comes the hardest thing of this whole video is to place Teflon tape with one hand because of the lights, tripods, cameras in the way. In your case, it may be a lot easier. Now that we become a level two warrior, we're ready to start installing things. And to make your life and my life a lot easier, you don't want to start installing piece by piece on the actual faucet. It's just gonna make the job a lot harder. So we go ahead and unpretzel our body and get to a position and location called the working station, AKA countertop. Another pro tip, placing a towel or a barrier between your pliers, the kit and the countertop is the way to go. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna place Teflon tape on our three eighths to half an inch connector and using two pliers or two wrenches, we're gonna take our adapter and connect it to our T. And to avoid water leaks, we're gonna invoke the inner power of Thor and Hulk combined in one person, which is you, and make a connection so tight, not even air can pass, except the one that may come out your body because of the strength you invoke. 
Now that we have that well connected, we're gonna go ahead and connect the shutoff valve. The shutoff valve does have an O-ring, but if you wanna place Teflon tape, you can't. In this case, you can use your hands or you can go back to the two plier technique. Now that we have this transformer built, now we wait for the Decepticons to come. I mean, we go under the sink again. So as you can see, it's gonna be a one-time connection instead of building every piece on top of the tube. Not only it would be harder, but it can cause stress on the tube and break it. We always start with our hands to avoid any threads from damaging and finish off with our pliers. If you haven't placed Teflon tape on the top, we go ahead and do that now. We're ready now to the final step and that's connecting our water hose line back again, always starting with your hands and ending with the mighty plier. And in our case, we're finishing off a half an inch connection, but if you need to flip the adapter around to end in a 3 eighths connection, you can also do that. We can go ahead and uncompress our body, show the world that we still have it and take ourselves to the back of the refrigerator. If your end line has a plastic cover, we go ahead and remove that. We once again place plumber's tape on the thread. And take our plastic fitting and start by hand. Once we can't go more by hand, we start using our pliers. A pro tip being this part plastic, we want to be extra careful when tightening. Now this is the part of the video where you have to decide where you're going to run your line through. In this case, we took a drill and at the end of the cabinet all the way in the back where Watson can't duck down to see, we did a little hole with a drill and passed the tubing through there. Hopefully this action would not make us lose the throne today. This is the part where we connect the tubing to the fitting located under the sink where your body needs to become pretzel yoga position and insert that end in there. And we want to make sure it does go in well enough. Now we take the other end and push the tubing in there. A pro tip, taking a bucket and opening the faucet, letting the water go through the line avoids any air on the line before installing the final tubing to the refrigerator. Now you can open your shutoff valve for the water line, verify it on the faucet that we have water and no leaks. Now we're ready to open the shutoff valve for the water line for the refrigerator. We also verify for no leaks in this connection plus on the one on the refrigerator. And if everything looks good, and you know that it does because you're the best of all time, DIY master, kung fu plier slayer, we walk our body like the king, queen, both or none that you are to that refrigerator, press that water button and see that water come out and admire your handiwork. A super pro tip, do not drink the first couple of waters that come out. You want to discard that because remember the filter is still cleaning itself. You can refer to your refrigerator's owner's manual, I mean barbecue paper or I mean Google to see for how long or how much water do you have to discard before you can actually drink it. Now you can give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. You have finally conquered another medieval metal beast and showed it who's the king, queen, both or none of this castle. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.